You know, we're both getting too old for this. But we both have a job to do. Good thing we're professionals. What's up, everyone? I'm here with the one and only Ed Boone from Ed NetherRealm Studios. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good, thanks. Good to be here. Good, good. Uh, how has Gamescom been for you? It's been very... Uh, I'm still adjusting to the jet lag, but it's, it's always fun to come here. Amazing. So obviously you've got Injustice 2 on show. So just a few quick questions. How has the development been since you since you started work on it? How's the whole journey been for you? It's been um, it's been great. You know, this 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 introduction of this game, the gear system has been something that has been really uh, resonating with players, and they understand what it is. And um, some of the stuff that we're going to be doing with this gear, we haven't even announced yet. So so people are seeing kind of the tip of the iceberg of the whole game that is Injustice. Uh, so that's so new to the fighting genre. Was it a sort of, what was the feelings towards when you announced it? Was it trepidation or how were you feeling? No, it was It was very much, you know, it, it to me it answered the question to all the players of, you know, whenever we make a new game we want to answer the question of, you know, why should you care about this version? Why should you care about Injustice 2 over Injustice 1? And the answer to that one is this gear system and how it you know, adds this meta layer of, of, of kind of gameplay strategy onto your normal fighting game strategy. It's fun. It's amazing. So yeah, in Justice 1, obviously the roster of characters was incredible. How do you even start to begin to improve on that? Well, with every game, Injustice in, uh, included, that, that features, you know, DC characters, there's always characters that you just don't have a chance to do. And, you know, we got a ton of feedback for certain characters that people wanted to see that are not as visible as Superman or Batman, but have a rabid fan base. You know, Blue Beetle is one of them, uh, Deadshot's another one. And so we really wanted to kind of like satisfy a lot of that for the players who felt like they didn't get to see their favorite character in the first game, really kind of satisfying those ones. That's really cool. And they're such unique takes on the characters. Do you do your team just start from scratch, or do you base it on particular things? There's obviously a lot of lore in Injustice. We use, you know, with the great thing about these DC characters is they exist in so many different formats. Um, you know, comic books, the animations, movies, you know, uh, TV shows, and some of them. Um, so we are constantly watching that stuff and being inspired by things that we'll see in those and applying them to the characters. So it's it's just a lot of fun collaborating with DC on that. That's so cool. So obviously you guys are known as well for your Mortal Kombat series. Do you, this is sort of do they inspire each other? Do you work on Mortal Kombat and ideas work into Injustice or vice versa? I think you know whether it's consciously or subconsciously there has to be some stuff that kind of bleeds over just because it's the same team. But our goal is to really make the games feel very separate, distinct, you know, to each to have their own identity, you know. Injustice is all about over the top battle of the gods, you know, throwing people through buildings and cars and all that crazy stuff. Um, Mortal Kombat is, you know, is more a close up thing, you know, more bloody, a little more hardcore presentations. So we really try to separate the two games as much as possible. Is there like a secret to balancing that sort of gameplay with the cinematic stuff? Um, I don't know if there's a secret as much as just a ton of work, a ton of, you know, um, QA time with, with players, getting pro players and playing the game, and then also making sure that, you know, the average person can perform the moves too. We want to cast as wide of a net as far as, you know, making something that as many people like it as possible, which is very, you know, it's a lot of work. Yeah. You've been with the drum for so long. How, is it, how exciting has it been to see it develop and become what it is today? Um, it's great, and I think that we've kind of contributed to that, you know, that, that resurgence. You know, we've had, you know, fighting games took a real dip for a while. And um, around the time that uh, Mortal Kombat 9 and Street Fighter 4 came out, there was a real big surge back to it. And then Injustice kind of jumped onto that thing too. And so it's, I think it's a fun uh, thing. We're really trying to drive the genre forward by adding, you know, our story mode things and now our gear system and really don't try to stay put but keep moving and introducing new elements to the to the to the formula of fighting games. That's so cool. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you and I cannot wait for this game. It's so nice. Thank you for speaking with us.